Jewfish. Yeah, we're kind of between Snipes Key and Jewfish Basin. Um, we're going to do a little bit of lobstering and see how we do. We still have like, I think nine in the freezer right now, but it's just fun to do. We're gonna do that for a little bit. Um, there's some rain clouds over near like Snipes slash Marvin where we were kind of planning on going to later. Um, but it's only one rain cloud and storms blow through pretty quickly, so. But it's pretty calm right now. There's like maybe six knots of wind. Not really much of a current. Flat seas. It's like really nice out. There's always like a little bit of a breeze. I'm trying to hold the phone down um, near this like plexiglass to try to cover the wind sound. But there's another Boston whaler out here who looks like they're lobstering as well. It just seems like summertime is like this kind of boat life, not so much for sailing. Um, I heard when I first got down here that summertime is winds are unpredictable, storms are unpredictable. So it's really like winter time is sailing time and not so much sandbars because being here a little over a year now, 67, 65 degrees is cold. So we're probably not going to go to the sandbar in the winter because we're gonna think it's cold. <laughs> so we're doing that today. Um, I'm gonna try to use my dive belt today. Last time we went out to Sand Key Lighthouse, I probably should have used the dive belt then because it was like 30 feet of water and it would have been better. But I'm gonna see how it works. I only have like two weights on it, like two pounds each. Is that a shark? I saw it like splashing in the water. There have been a decent amount of shark reports in the Keys lately. Um, there's last week, I think, or like a week and a half ago, there was a great white spotted 21 miles offshore Kajo, which 21 miles is really far and it was like in a thousand feet of water, but still. Um, a few days before that, there was like a 10 year old boy, I think, who lost the lower part of his leg to an eight foot bull shark. Um, a few weeks before that, there was like a woman that got helicoptered to Miami because she was losing a lot of blood. A little paranoid of the sharks right now, but today I'm actually going to be swimming with my little dive knife, even though it probably won't do anything to a shark. Probably not the greatest thing to think about or say or like put out there into the world of like talking about sharks before you get the water, but yeah. So oh, there's another boat out over there, lobstering. Got our fish up, he's over there. Um, this little area, I don't know if you can probably see that. I'm gonna zoom in. There's a few boats over there. That's Jewfish Basin. Over towards there is back towards Key West. And then this was the storm cloud. Now it doesn't really look much like a storm cloud anymore. It's not so much dark. And then this is the Gulf. I look the other way. I don't see how it's got anything to do with me. Oh, hurry, I need my bees at any expense. It doesn't make sense, but every cell in my body. For about an hour and a half and we have four keepers there's a there's a ton of lobsters where we're at right now but the first few were like little baby shrimp ones that we couldn't keep so we had to throw them back but we found this one hole that 
all the big jumbo ones we're living in, so we got all <laughs> out of the hole. Lobster is for dinner tonight. Donated to clean our conscience, and it works out great. Oh, there's like three pods. There's one right there, one right there, and one back there. Oh my god, look at them! is to rip the heads off of them which I think is the easy part but the easiest way that we found was just to like put them on ice freeze them let them die that way and then kind of get the head the tail twist it and pull and yeah then take the antenna put it up their butt swirl it around and you got the poop so Florida spiny lobsters are different than Maine lobsters I never really ate Maine lobsters but they're very, very sharp. These little spiny, spiny I call them Florida spiny lobsters. Do it a couple times to make sure it got all the poop out. Looks pretty clean to me. Weird thing about lobsters, I've noticed, I can feel it twitching. Like I'm putting this in there, it doesn't have a head, and yet I can feel twitching. Free paycheck weekend. 